Yo, what up, you two? It's your boy, I'm getting in. I'm checking in. Got a quick little update for y'all today, man. I'm trying to check in with y'all back to back, man. I told y'all, y'all wanted them to give it to y'all. Appreciate all the support. Appreciate everybody asking about the cutting. I got a big update from the drop. Big bomb update from the drop of that. I appreciate y'all. But this is what we talking about today. We talking about a trillion upgrade for LS Rock Arms. Uh, make a quick hunt chop, not make a long video. Factory ones got these little bearings in it. Uh, you sit inside of the cup. You say on the big duration, big lift, lift or fail. A bearing to fall off in your engine, and you got a big, big, big problem. Big problem. So what we got here is we got a trillion upgrade. This is not the comp cam upgrade. This is uh, I forgot the name of the company. Uh, upgrade. It's not um. Uh, it's not uh. It don't have bearings in it. The comp cam won't have bearings, but the way the comp cam is designed, uh, this is a factor one. The way the comp cam is designed, the bearings, they sealed almost. They sealed, they got, it's kind of hard to describe it, but the bearings set inside and it's a wall on each side, so the bearings, so you can pick it up and do it like this, the bearings won't fall out with the comp cam. But the problem is they say it's so sealed tight, can't even get oil inside them and after a while the bearings will wear and you be getting a tap and you go to check it the bearing the uh, rocker got slack in it side to side uh, so this one is called it's a oil train upgrade because it's just a bushing a uh, brass bushing and hold on YouTube And see, you can see you got a little space between. That's enough space for you to get all in between them. Comp cams are supposed to be jammed tight. You can't get all in between it over time. They have the same ring, but they got bushes inside. They ring over time. The bush, the bearings wear out. So that's what we got here. That's what we got. Uh, YouTube. Uh, I didn't make a video because I thought I wasn't going to make a video. I didn't know these was different. These for the LSAB. I didn't know these was different. So it's book cool videos, training upgrade videos on YouTube. So that's why I didn't make a bother about making one on installing them. Same process to push them out. Uh, I use a socket. Put it in the vise that I use is 11 millimeter. I put it right here. And put it in the vise, twisted it, and the socket pushes it through, and all the stuff fall out nice and easy. See my little pile of mess right there. Uh, so just wanna hit y'all with this little update. Uh, get a few unpressed in. I'll probably check back. It's probably not too much a how-to video, just a good informational video on the train all all your train upgrade for LS engines. Fade back you too old now. Okay, you two, we faded back. We got one pressed in, went pretty nicely. Just gotta find my snap ring tool. And uh, I might have to go buy another one, shucks. But anyway, got it in. All you need is seven, eight socket. Put down on it like that. And you're gonna come with the five, eight socket. And it's gonna fit over it. And you're gonna push the butt bearing down in it. First you're gonna press one side bearing in, then you slide the, the shaft in, slide the shaft in, then you put the bearing on, the, the, the uh, wash over it, you're gonna press down on it, and voila. Okay, you two pay the back, put the bearing, put the 7-8 washer, press it in on one side, and you slip the your shaft in and you come with a 5 8 socket and it's gonna fit over that and it's gonna press it on it's gonna look just like that in your vise or press or drill press even some people use drill presses because it don't take much to press it in 
I fade back when we get in the vice. All right, you two, we faded back. All right, you see we got the bushing, and we got our 5 eight socket, and I'm just using my hand. I'm not even using the, the handle. And just easy. Hold on. Get a little harder. There you go. Got it started. Once you get started, do it by hand. Then uh, this side of the bushing, I mean, of the rock arm, I got that side against the uh, vice, and I'm pressing in the other side first. Just like that, you two. Nice and easy. Then I come with the handle, you know, just to give me a, just make sure I'm tight, jam in there. See YouTube, I fade back and do the other side. Alright, YouTube, we faded back with the uh trinion, all your trinion upgrade. I got the 7-8 socket on this side, and I got the 5-8 socket pressing against the bushing, easy. Just doing it by hand. When it get down tight, when it get down, I go ahead and use the, the handle. Nice and easy. No forcing. Boom. That's it, you too. Hope this video will help with some of y'all. All your training upgrade. No bearings, just uh, I guess brass bushing clips. And uh, I don't know what you call this centerpiece, but uh, put the link in the description. Anybody interested? Had them soaking overnight. Died about 6 to 17. No, I'm sorry. About. 13 more to go, something like that. So, well, let's get in over.